Hey friends, it's Miss Limer here to talk to you about place value. So last time we met, we talked about um, all of the new places that we learned. So before you only knew the ones, tens, and hundreds. Now we know the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands, right? We also learned how to read a number because even though that might sound something sound like something you already know how to do, there's actually a specific way to read numbers. Now that we've done that, we're ready to start moving into our place value representations. The cool thing about place value is that there are a bunch of different ways that you can show a number, okay? There's two really important words that we need to know during this lesson, compose and decompose. Compose means you have parts that are kind of separated and you put them together. So compose means to put together. Decompose is the opposite. So what's the opposite of putting something together? Taking it apart. So if you're composing a number, you're putting it together. If you're decomposing a number, you're taking it apart. So we're gonna learn about three forms today. We're gonna learn about standard, base 10, and word form. So I'm going to pull up our chart. Okay, so here is our chart for place value. So if you notice, we have two the two different periods. We have our ones period that holds the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. We have our comma. When we see our comma, we say thousand. And then we have our thousands period, and that's just the thousands family. They all have the last name of thousands, the thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. So the three forms we're going to talk about today are standard form, which is just the plain old number. So this plain old number is 3,748. It's the number written in numbers, okay? We're going to learn about base 10 form, which is right down here. Base 10 form is when you build that number with the base 10 blocks. Now, the base 10 blocks, you've seen these before. They're these, these 3D blocks that we use to build numbers, right? So we have our thousands cubes our hundreds flats, and we represent those by just drawing a square, our tens rods, which we represent those by just drawing a line, and our ones, which we can either draw tiny squares or circles for, but you have to make sure that they're smaller than the hundred squares. So we have our base 10 form using base 10 blocks, and we have word form. Word form is exactly how it sounds. You read the number out loud, and then you write down the number words that you hear. Now, the important thing about math, guys, is not the spelling. As long as you spell it the best way you can, I will know what you mean. So the three forms we're learning today, standard form, which is the plain old number, base 10 form, which is building that number using the base 10 blocks, and word form, which is you read it out loud to yourself and write it down using your number words. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to not sharing. Okay, so I wrote down a number example. I wrote down the number 2,323. This is the plain old number. So which form is that? You're right. That's standard form. Standard form is the plain old number. Okay. I also drew this number in base 10 form. So I do have two thousands. So that means I have two thousands cubes. So I drew my two thousands cubes. I have three hundreds. So I drew three hundreds. A two in the tens place means I have two tens. So I drew my two tens. And a three in the ones place means that I have three ones. So I drew my three ones. Now notice how my ones blocks are smaller than my hundreds blocks because ones are much smaller than hundreds, okay? And then I wrote it out in words. So how I did this was I read the number to myself. I said two, and then I saw the comma. So I know that means thousand. Three in the hundreds place, so 323. 2,000. 323, okay? So I want you to practice real quick. I want you to write the standard form of the number, 9,242. You should have written down this number, 9,242. That is the standard form, okay? Now, if we were to draw the base 10 blocks, how many cubes, thousand cubes, will we draw? You're right, we would draw 9,000. So I'm just going to draw those really fast. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine thousands. How many hundreds? Two hundreds. 
How many tens? Four tens. And how many ones? Two ones. So I have 9,242. And then you draw, you write it in the word form. So 9,000. And then 200. 42. 9,242. So we have our three forms. We have our standard form, which is the plain old number, our base 10 form, which is just drawing the base 10 blocks, and then our word form. So those are our three forms today. We still have two more forms to learn, but those will be in videos to follow in the next couple of days. Thanks, guys. Please rewatch if you don't understand or you need just a little bit more time.